Welcome everybody to Jack Does Horror. I'm Jack and today I'm talking about the Wrong Turn Reboot. To be more exact, I'm talking about the Wrong Turn Reboot trailer and what I liked about it. Speaking of liked, if you guys could give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It helps support the channel and here at Jack Does, we greatly appreciate it and it's a total cool move and it means you're not being a total Shelly. You guys doing something I shouldn't see? So, with all that being said, onto the reason why you clicked on the video, we're talking all about Wrong Turn. Hit the intro! Okay, so, first things first, I noticed that there's no Elijah Dushku characters. Not saying that there's not any hotties. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is, there's no characters that are being like what the Swan says. What do I mean by that? Well, you're going to have to totally wait until the end of the video, and I will totally tell you. Totally. Not to sound too much like Linda from Halloween. Totally. 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 totally, totally. <sighs> okay. Also, I noticed that there was, um, I always felt like in the original Wrong Turn, that it was inspired by my favorite episode of X-Files of all time from season four, and I think it was episode two, I believe, uh, episode called Home, where it had to deal with home Pennsylvania and a dirty little secret of these yucky, yucky inbred brother, uncle, cousin, dad guys that were like all mutated and monstery. Just like in Wrong Turn, where you had the yucky, yucky, inbred brother, uncle, cousin, dad guys that were also mutated from all the incest, inbred, yucky, yucky stuff. And it just, they had that hills have eyes kind of monstrous theme to them. And there was some, just some parallels, a feel of that, of my favorite episode and of the original Wrong Turn. It just, they were so much alike to me. So I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised when I saw the trailer and I saw more parallels. For example, I saw booby traps and and that the town knows about them. So first thing that we'll talk about the booby traps, it makes it feel like that Friday 13th part two or the way that the Friday 13th remake was where it was more that woodsman type of Jason Voorhees and these characters seem more like the woodsmen instead of just inbred berserkers. And there is something that is just cerebral and vicious about that, which in my opinion makes it scarier. Also, the town knows about them. Now, I feel in the original, like they hinted towards that, but they didn't go fully into like that the whole town knew about that dirty secret up the mountain. But in the trailer, they made sure that there was a shadow of a doubt that the town knew about it. So basically to be even more precise, what happens is if you go off the beam path and you head up the mountain, there's a really, really good chance that it is your ass. And I don't mean like deliverance, I mean like you're dead. So uh, lastly, what I seen was that they're doing the popular trend with this wrong turn reboot, which is what Halloween did and what Candyman did, which is they are going off of the fact that the original film existed and this is a sequel to the original film. Now, I don't feel like they had to do that with Halloween because up until Halloween Resurrection, I enjoyed all the Halloweens. I can completely understand why they did that with Candyman and that means I even, uh, I understand even more why they did it with Wrong Turn. Because outside of like the horror movie diehard lovers like yours truly, Wrong Turn, Wrong Turn 2 through 7, which are really dug wrong turn too, but eh, the rest of them are just, they went the Hellraiser mode where they just were pumping them out and trying to make a name or make a, make a buck off of the name. And that's never good for quality of story. So, you know, I am 
completely, like I said, I completely understand. And I agree with the fact that this reboot is doing what Halloween and Candyman did, which is, hey, the original movie existed, not the rest of the, not the rest of the franchise. So this is a sequel to the original. One franchise that's not doing that in 2021 is The Exorcist. And I don't understand why they think it's the right climate to just make a remake of the original Exorcist. It doesn't make any sense to me from the fact that that's one of the most popular uh, horror movies of all time and it's always gonna be judged on that. So you're gonna have to outdo that. Uh, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's the right climate for it. I mean, I just talked about the fact that Wrong Turn, Candyman, and Halloween are all doing this. Uh, the predecessor to all that was Friday the 13th uh, when they rebooted that. And now that I think about it, actually the predecessor to that was Psycho. When they reboot, when they did the reboot, or I'm sorry, when they did the sequel to Psycho, it was completely off of the original. It's, you know, way better than the the remake where Vince Vaughn just, it was like the same exact movie just with higher quality film. Anyway, I don't, you know, and, oh, and also the show, the Exorcist, which I am totally bummed they canceled and don't understand why they did this formula where the original Exorcist existed and they built and expanded the Exorcist universe. Uh, also, what I dig about that is that means in my mind, Exorcist 3 existed. And if you guys have watched my top 10 best part threes, you would know how much I dig the Exorcist part three. Um, so yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but here at Jack Does, we think that, uh, yeah, it's not gonna be as successful as these movies that are doing that formula of, we're going off of the original and making a sequel. Who knows, but as far as I'm concerned, not a good move. Man, and I don't understand why they canceled that show, but at the same time, they canceled Last Man on Earth, so, what the hell are you doing, Fox? Don't understand. So we have not understanding. This is the part of the video where I usually like giving you guys a horror movie recommendation on what I have just seen. And I can't do that because the movie I seen was called Book of Monsters. And I love monsters. And I thought off of just the title and watching the trailer that this was going to be something really kick ass. And it just wasn't you know it started out where the mom was reading to the daughter in this book that looked like necronomicon kind of and it had, was full of monsters and basically subliminally telling the girl how to defeat these monsters and there's a monster under the bed and you're like okay cool setup and that was it this movie just kind of failed on everything but to me it's all forgivable if you end up making cool monsters and you just did it. So what you should have did Book of Monsters was you should have had a kick-ass female protagonist and her kick-ass friends kicking monster ass and making the monsters look crazy, scary, dangerous, and cool. And you just did it. On top of that, there was a very weird scene where, okay, so there's a house party it's not just for friends, it's for everybody. So there's some people that the chick doesn't like and they're at the party and then they go into bitch mode and they kind of do what the bitches did to Carrie in the movie Carrie where they prank, but instead they do it with this male stripper and it's a unisex party and all the girls aren't digging the male stripper, but their boyfriends their boyfriends are loving it. They're biting their lip, licking their chops, giving the thumbs up during the lap dance. Just a microcosm of the whole movie to me was that scene, which is, it was awkward and I just don't understand what they were going for. So my horror movie recommendation for this video would have to be, I'm gonna have to go with the classics, man. First, if you're digging just one cosmic horror movie monster and all you need is one, well, go with The Blob. To be more exact, go with the 1988 remake of The Blob. 
It has, as everything that I always say, guys, it has cool story, cool characters, cool kills equals cool movie. You should check that out. And if you're wanting more than one monster, then I'm going to go with John Carpenter's, part of John Carpenter's apocalyptic trilogy, In the Mouth of Madness. And what Book of Monsters and what other people who want to make monster movies need to realize is when you watch these movies, take notes because your monsters need to be cool. You could, not that these movies do it, but you can lack in story, you can lack in other things, but you gotta have cool monsters, especially to, in today's day and age where this SCP movement is really super big and it just, in my opinion, uh, the next couple years, I think the most popular horror movies are going to be monster movies. You got to get your shit right. Now, on to the end of the video. And as promised, I'm going to tell you what the swan says, what that term means. Uh, so, what's that term mean? Well, from Michael Beck's most popular role, Swan from the Warriors, he had this female tag along that was constantly acting like she was one of the warriors. She was trying to talk the talk and walk the walk and she just couldn't. So Swan put her in her place and put her in her place with three magical words that have stuck with me all of this time, which is one tough chick. And anytime you are acting like and you not aren't really a tough chick, well, you are totally being what the swan says. Okay, so for example, in my favorite comedy, The Grey Outdoors, Buck's love interest, Cammy, is totally being what the swan says. When Buck tries to ask her out and everything, she is just completely acting tough. And, and what the hell does, what the hell does city boy, you don't know how local I am mean? Like, it's a vacation town, it's a tourist spot. It's a gorgeous place with a big lake where families go and do outdoor things and you're acting like it's Compton or something, Cammie. That's not, that's not cool, that's not real. Besides, Buck comes from like Chicago. Chicago's way tougher than whatever that lake town is. So, you are totally being what the swan says, Cammie. You're acting like one tough chick. Who? And with all that being said, if you guys could, friendly reminder, please like, share, and subscribe. That will support the channel, and we greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, I'm Jack. This is Jack Does Horror. And you guys all have a great day, and don't be a total Shelly. Next time, I'll know how to handle a situation like that. Let's just hope next time isn't too soon. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Let's get out of here.